Hi my friends, today we model this part and uh, this is the drawing. We start by creating this circle, the other one, 55 and 138, thickness of 18 and we apply directly these two chamfers. This part is number 43 from my collection of 100 mechanical parts. New empty document. Take a look of this uh, workbench and select CAD, not Bender, because we create uh, mechanical parts. New sketch, XZ plane circle 138 and 55 close pad or extrude on 18 then we select this edge we keep press the control key on the keyboard and we select also this edge. Chamfer 1 is by default. OK. Now we create this channel. This one. With dimensions here. 16. And uh, that's all for the channel. Then we apply a cut here containing from this face to the bottom face, 50 degrees. Face, new sketch, rectangle, enter, tab, 16, enter, click and this is the result. We apply symmetric for this point and this point about this point, not axis. Then we project this uh, circle and we apply tangent between this side of the rectangle and the circle. Close and we apply pocket of uh, 9. OK. This is the depth of 9 for the channel. Also 9 is uh, this uh, face. Now we apply that uh, cut. This face, new sketch, project one line is enough. Then poly line from here then a continuation here down somewhere here and back coincident is this line with this point and this line with this point we connect with a line these two points and this uh, segment is vertical then we apply equal between uh, this line and this line angle 
of uh, 50 degrees then we project this arc to apply tangent between this line and this arc not point but arc good there is a dimension between these two points of uh, 48 I'll show you immediately this is 48 now we have a fully constrained sketch but we select this line and this line to be construction lines now close and we apply pocket pocket through all yes you see here everything okay good you see here that distance of 48 now we don't multiply this uh, combination channel cut for six occurrences because we associate also this uh, counter bore also six diameter of nine is this hole then 14 and nine we select this position of that uh, counter bore placed on the diameter of a circle with a diameter of 80. this face new sketch a circle on this vertical no matter what is the diameter but the distance to the center point is uh, 80 divided by 2 close hole 9 all the way through the part then counter bore diameter of 14 and uh, depth of 9 all depths are 9 here now we can apply that uh, circular pattern by selecting 1 2 3 and it is keeping press the control key on the keyboard then we apply polar pattern and automatically we see that this axis was selected by default and two occurrences is now we apply six occurrences okay now we create this uh, uh, feature by using these dimensions 78.75 is the distance between this point and the center point we create this uh, feature but we use these dimensions radius 27 radius 23.3.5 this distance of 3 and radius 62 for this point the angle is 66 degrees this face new sketch circle on this axis with diameter 27 multiplied by 2 because it is a diameter 
23.5 multiplied by 2. Then we place a polyline starting from this circle up to vertical and going to this uh, circle. Now this is not placed on the circle because we didn't project it this. Now we apply coincident here. The angle is 66 between this line and this line. 66. This dimension is 3. This distance to the center point is uh, 62. Then we have to place here an arc. An arc in three points. From this point to this point at the intersection, I select this and somewhere will apply coincident is this with this and equal is this arc with this arc with this now we apply trim of this arc and this arc and we have uh, to try to move something here oh the position of this center which is uh, 78 75 dimension from this point to the center point 78 point 75 now we have a fully constrained sketch and we eliminate this area around here close pocket you see this is the result the depth is also 9 as I said Okay, now we multiply this in three occurrences because you see in the drawing one, two, three. Okay, we select the last feature only, we select the polar pattern the axis is already selected with two occurrences not good we apply three here and now the part is finished that's all for today thanks for watching bye, -bye.